Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Minecraft How to Make. We have another arcade machine to add to our collection of awesomeness to build and it looks just as cool as the last one. It's a little bigger but I did that on purpose just because arcade machines are all shapes and sizes. Uh, they are not done in like one size so we have this to add to our collection. It is extremely easy to make and extremely cheap. This time, it doesn't require a Wither Skeleton Skull, it requires a Diamond Helmet. Last time you said um, a Wither Skeleton Skull was a little expensive. So we changed it to a Diamond Helmet. I know it's still expensive, but it just looks nice. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to know is the materials you're going to need to build this fine creation. So in this chest, I have those materials. You're going to need 8 blocks of snow, um, 2 purple blocks, 1 gray carpet, a button, three armor stands, a lever, a diamond helmet, a piston, a purple stairs, an item frame, seven iron trap doors, and a block of redstone. Note the piston and a block of redstone are not permanent to the build. They are just going to help us get that stuff around. So now that we know what we need, let us get to it. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is where you want to build it. I want to tell you right now that you do need a wall behind it, so just, you know, it, it would it doesn't look that great without a wall anyway, so it's not too much of a sacrifice. So I want to make mine right here. So for instance, it's going to be like this in respect to that. So first off, you're going to need to get your snow, place it right back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. You are then going to get your armor stand and place it right there. Note, you're going to want it to be pretty straight. So let's look. Um, as you can tell, that's a little crooked. Um, as far as armor stands go, you do need to, it is just trial and error of what one is straight. So, you know, just keep placing a couple till we get a fairly straight one. I'm going to say that is pretty straight, but you may want to edit it a little more. Just keep placing and putting the helmet on, see how straight it is uh, to know what you want. So next you're going to get one of your purple pillars, your purple stairs, um, and your piston and a block of redstone. So go ahead and place it like this and like this. Um, the patterns on the side are 100% up to you. Ultimately this doesn't matter uh, for this block, but it will matter in the future uh, for looks only. So you're going to place your piston like so. So you'll get something like this. Go ahead and place a redstone right there. Place any block, don't worry, we're moving it here. Place the redstone here, moving it down, and like so. You can go ahead and get rid of that, and this is exactly what we need. Now, as you can tell, it's a little crooked, and that is what I was saying in the beginning. You're going to want to edit that till you get it crooked. So, I mean, not crooked. Um, it's literally just trial and error from there. So then, after this, you're going to want to go ahead and place the iron trap doors on the sides of this, like this and then one on the top like that. In the back, you are going to put levers like this. Um, it'll go on like that, and then they'll be over here as well. So you will get something like this. So pretty simple and just easy. So for this part, however, it is very, I would say, difficult. Now, I didn't say in the beginning, um, simply because uh, it's not that important, but you're going to need something that a piston can't move. So, for instance, it cannot move. Um, here, let's just take a note block, for instance. A piston cannot move a note block, and this is extremely important for the next little bit of what we're doing. Then, you're going to break this. You're going to put down four, one, two, three, four snow there. I'm sorry, I did miss um, say in the beginning, you're going to need four extra snow right there. You are then going to place a piston here. You are going to place a piston um, here and a piston here. I'm sorry, I have to break this, so, and here. Um, okay, so that is pretty easy, pretty simple. You are then going to place a um, your armor stand, one like this and one like this, just like that. You are also going to place the thing your piston cannot move here. Um, ultimately, it actually doesn't matter if a piston can't move it. I just like to use that for security's sake. You are then going to place a redstone here, push, pushing this over there. You are then going to push, put the redstone here, pushing that over there. So you'll get this in the middle here. Pretty simple, pretty easy. We can go ahead and remove these pistons now, um, just for so you guys can see what's going on. 
So as you can tell, you're going to have um, your armor stands just like this. Now you're going to place a redstone um, block right here. And then you're going to break this redstone block and it is going to push these back. Now, no, if the, um, if it is not, um, if this doesn't work in, uh, if they patch it somehow, I doubt they will. But if they do patch it, just check out my other how to make a, um, um, arcade machine and I'll show you how to do this easy, um, in a harder, more complicated way. So then we're done with these. So we can go ahead and break this then. So now we are going to want to place our purple block up here. Um, this is where the pattern decides. Do you want this on this side or do you want that on that side? Uh, for sake of difference, um, we'll put that right there. Then on the top of this block, you are going to place a carpet, then a piston facing down like that. So you will get exactly this. So you can kind of see what we're going to do. We're going to place a redstone there here and there there we go so we pushed it down a couple times and we have this fine machine right here so we're getting really close to the end now guys we're going to head go ahead and place iron trap doors here and here we're going to take out some more of our levers dig down two or three place a lever on here activate it so that'll go up like that do the same over here and activate it so you will get that pretty easy um, we can go ahead and replace our floor now then simply the final touches we are going to need this item frame I seem to have misplaced my ladder and my button so we'll go ahead and do that we will place our um, item frame first our button second and lastly our ladder rotate it twice and we have our arcade machine. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. This has been another arcade machine. If you want to see another, be sure to tell me in the comments below. I'll be sure to make one as soon as possible if you do. I have tons of crazy awesome ideas. And not just for arcade machines. You'll definitely see that in the, um, in the future. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to leave a like. And if you enjoyed, maybe even subscribe. And I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.